Here we'll demonstrate how to set up a camera with an audio recorder if you're feeding audio from the recorder directly to the camera. Now you can still record to the recorder, of course, but um, there are some things you need to know about setting up that, that kind of connection so that you don't overload the camera uh, sound circuitry um, or preamplifier. So let me show you what I mean here. So for example, here we have the sound devices Mix Pre 6 and the Panasonic GH5. You can do this with any camera that has a microphone input, of course, and any recorder that has a, an output of some sort. In this particular case, we have a 3.5 millimeter stereo output, and we happen to have a 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone input here. So first we're gonna set up our microphone on the recorder here. And really all we're gonna do there, and I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here, but we really just wanna gain stage it so that our peaks are somewhere between minus 20 and minus 12, just to leave ourselves some, some headroom in case things get really loud. Um, people laugh and <laughs> things of that nature, and things have a tendency to get, um, you know, you can't necessarily react quickly enough for that. So that's the main thing we've done here, first of all, is get that mic this microphone set up. First of all, there's the mic level adjustment, which is kind of like an input level. And I've actually set that to its lowest setting, minus 12 dB. So we'll just start there. Um, I do want to have the mic level display on. Um, that's so when I go back here, I have meters here. Now, these meters are hard to read. They don't really mark anything. <laughs> um, so you're going to have to kind of figure out on your camera exactly where, say, for example, minus 20 dB falls. And uh, we'll show you how we do that on this camera in just a minute. Now, as I mentioned, in this case, we have a 3.5 millimeter stereo output and a 3.5 millimeter stereo input. So we're just using a simple 3.5 millimeter TRS cable. So tip ring sleeve which is what TRS stands for. First, we're going to insert that into the uh, mix pre here and then into the microphone input on the camera. Okay. Next thing we wanna do here is we need to do what's called send tone to the camera. And the reason we do this, um, as you watch here, you'll see it'll become pretty clear. We're trying to make sure that the levels on the recorder are sort of matched up with the levels on the camera. That is to say, um, so for example here, let me just show you what, what I, here, let me show you how it, it's a problem if we don't do it. <laughs> um, we'll come up here, mic level, we'll, we'll increase the mic level here. All right, so this is what happens when we have things running a little hot. You can see here, we're peaking between minus 20 and minus 12, but up here it's peaking much hotter. Um, so you, you want to have those at the same levels so that if things get kind of hot here, we don't overload and clip the microphone input on the camera, in, the, in which case you would get distorted audio recorded to the camera. And you've sort of defeated the whole purpose of feeding audio to the camera. So we want to kind of line those up. So the way we do that is on the Mix Pre, you can actually send tone. And actually a lot of other recorders like the Zoom F series can do this as well. And so in the menus, we come to the second page and we tap on tone. We'll go ahead and turn the tone on and we'll come back out. Now you can see it's sending a minus 20 dB tone. Um, and let me just show you here, if we come back in here, we can actually set what, what level we want the tone to be sent at. Minus 20 is the standard, minus 20 dB full scale. And uh, that should come out as minus 20 on your camera here. And if it's not, that means you need to adjust your camera's microphone input level so that this does come out to 20 and then the two of them are matched up. All right, so you can see here it's at exactly minus 20 on the Mix Pre. So what we need to do is reduce the input level here on this one until it's also at minus 20. Now, this is hard to see here, but the, this, these, each square represents 2 dB on this particular meter. And I just know that from kind of reverse engineering it. And the way I know that is that this one is marked as minus 12 and this is zero. So that means that each one is worth, minus, or is worth two decibels. And so if I count down, now we are exactly at minus 20 dB. So we actually got lucky here, <laughs> but if we didn't get so lucky, what we might wanna do too is, here we've bottomed out our input level on the camera. We're at minus 12 dB, which is the lowest setting you can go to. And generally that's where you wanna be on the camera. And then what I would do is come into the recorder, which presumably has higher quality uh, preamplifiers and, and so on and so forth and can produce better quality audio. I would come into the outputs and I would change the stereo output gain. And you can see here as I boost this up, we're now at minus six dB. Um, you can see that's maxing out. That's actually being limited by the camera at this point. So if I come in here and turn that limiter off, 
and see what happens. Now it's completely maxed out. It's completely clipping right now. So if I reduce, uh, whoops, reduce the gain, the output gain on the recorder here, um, if I go down to minus 40, which is the lowest setting I can go to, it just so happens that that gets us right to minus 20 dB. So that's how I would set up these two cameras in terms of setting the output level. Then I would come back in here and we can turn off our tone at this point. Now, if you want to also check your connection, your cable here to make sure it's wired right and everything's sending, you know, left channel to left channel and right channel to right channel, one thing you can also do is there's on, at least on the Mix Pre, there's this, um, option here under the tone menu, if we turn that back on, there's a tone mode and you can do continuous or left ident. If we do left ident, look what happens. The left channel now is pulsing between minus 40 and minus 20 dB in its tone. And that's useful to just make sure that you're wired correctly. So we do have left channel going to left channel. So that's kind of a handy little feature as well. Whoops. Come back in here and we can turn our tone off at this point. First, I'm going to put it back to continuous and then turn it off. And that is how you set tone uh, or send tone to camera to set the levels between the recorder and the camera itself. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you do have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, that is our sound for video session for this week. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care, everybody.